No frilly intros here. We've been waiting long enough. Yo, folks, here is the all-new 2021 Ford Bronco. Yes, by all means, take a second. Nineteen ninety-six was the last time we saw anything new with the Bronco nameplate. The Bronco is back with a vengeance, and Ford is gunning for heavy-hitting off-road royalty, the Jeep Wrangler, and luxury Land Rover Defender. The exterior looks as rugged as we'd hoped. Overall, it's a mass of boxy squareness that hints back to the Bronco's heritage while still meeting modern safety regulations. I absolutely love the details on this truck. The headlights, the grill, the vintage badging. I love that the front end maintains the boxiness that the new Defender lost. Like the Wrangler, drivers can remove door panels and the roof. I dig the proportions of the body with the greenhouse. It's got a side hinge tailgate with good storage in the back. This thing looks great, full stop, and ready for whatever you throw at it. Take my money now. Inside, Ford takes the less is more approach inspired by the first generation Bronco. A touchscreen is implemented for infotainment purposes, but there are some knobs and buttons for climate and audio functions. A digital gauge screen comes as an option as well. The auxiliary toggle switches on the roof might be my favorite feature. There's even an optional GoPro mount on the dash for those interested in recording their adventures. No doubt Ford's SYNC 4 system and advanced driver safety features will come on this blue oval baby, but we haven't heard anything official yet. Because of the removable doors, Ford's taken a page out of the Wrangler's book and put automatic window controls on the center console. I like that there's a more traditional stick shift. The electronic transfer case gets operated by a dial control. Speaking of, let's get into those powertrain details. The base Bronco gets a 2.3 liter EcoBoost four-cylinder engine. There's also a 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 option if you're looking for more buck. Nope, there's no V8, but with what the V6 can do, I'm not sure anyone's gonna miss it unless you like paying more at the fuel pump. A seven-speed manual is available on the four-cylinder only, but that transmission is a special one. It gets six gears and a special crawler gear for some serious dirt chewing. The four-banger and the V6 can also come with Ford's 10-speed automatic transmission. Two transfer case options are available, one an electronic shift on the fly, the other an electromechanical transfer case. The crawl ratio on a Bronco equipped with that upgraded transfer case and the manual transmission with its special crawl gear is a brain exploding 94.75 to one. Ah, as my good friend Emmy said, that thing will basically drive itself. Capability wise, the Bronco looks stellar. When properly specced, approach, departure, and breakover angles best the Rubicon and keep in step with Land Rover's new ultra-capable Defender. Max water fording in the Bronco is at 33 and a half inches. That's more than the Rubicon, but shy of the Defender's 35.4 inches. And it's got a 450 pound max roof load. I'm gonna officially go on record as saying this is a comparison test I want to do yesterday. Step up with your cash and front and rear lockers, as well as a front disconnecting stabilization bar are available as well. The new Bronco gets an independent front suspension with coilovers. The rear setup is a solid five link axle also with coils. Buyers can opt for heavy duty long travel Bilstein shocks if they want them. There is off-road tech galore that we can't wait to test, including up to seven drive modes, off-road mapping technology, an off-road cruise control called trail control, torque vectoring assist on tight off-road turns, and one pedal acceleration or braking for rock crawling precision. Ford's offering a bunch of different trim levels with various finish and wheel and tire packages. On the base model, expect a 30 inch all season tire. The Sasquatch package, yes, that's correct, Sasquatch, is as beefed up as you can get with 35 inch mud tires. That package is available on one of seven cool sounding trims, including Big Bend, Black Diamond, and Badlands. So not only is Ford busting out the Bronco, but the 2021 Bronco Sport is exploding out of the corral at the same time. The Bronco Sport finally fills Ford's slightly than larger subcompact crossover space with something that, at least at first blush, seems worthy of the badge. Room for five, a base 1.5 liter turbo three-cylinder engine, or a bigger two liter turbo four-cylinder. 
independent front and rear suspension, and all-terrain 29-inch tires depending on which trim level you choose. Higher trim levels will offer a twin clutch rear drive system with a mechanical locking rear differential and a terrain management system including a rock crawl mode. We're looking forward to seeing how rugged this little thing actually gets. The Bronco Sport looks absolutely great, dare I say pretty similar to the Defender in the front end. As much as we're excited for the Bronco, we're very happy to see the Bronco Sport ready to light up this segment with stiff competition in the Chevy Trax, Jeep Compass, Honda CRV, and Toyota RAV4. Deliveries start in the spring of 2021, but you can reserve your Bronco now online for 100 bucks. Base price on the two-door Bronco starts at $29,995, including a $1,495 destination fee. Gunning for that Wrangler? For sure. The Bronco Sport will start at a lower asking price, but it arrives later this year. You know there's gonna be a lot more to talk about, look at, and drive over when it comes to both the Bronco and the Bronco Sport, so stay tuned. I sure know we're going to.